Hello, hello, hello! Happy Saturday! Happy Saturday, Art Block! Hello, hello! How you doing, Deb? I'm trying to get in here. Share it out for myself. Share it! Share it! Yay! Alright. <laughs> so, if anybody doesn't know who I am, I'm Kathy Grillo of Kathy Grillo Arts. Happy Art Block Day. This is where you can find me. Follow me. Please do. Here is our great, our wonderful uh, Art Block schedule. It is a full schedule today. Yay! And we're only at the beginning. It's me right here. So this is all the rest of the afternoon to 11 o'clock tonight. Awesome, awesome. And if you're an artist or an art appreciator, yes, follow share. You can always look up on Saturday, hashtag LDCC, anytime. On Thursdays, we have our music blog. And on Saturdays, Today, we have the art flag. Yay! So these are the hashtags you can look up and be entertained for the entire day on Thursday and Saturday. And you can also join us. Yay! <laughs> We're all over social media, so please feel free to not only follow us, but if you're interested in art and getting to know us, look us up on Facebook. Request to join the group, and guess what? I'm the one who gets to approve you, so <laughs> you got it in. I will uh, be your friend, help you out, show you the ropes, and uh, you'll have a lot of fun and be inspired. Okay, so I'm grateful for you guys. So much fun. Today I'm going to work on this lovely little fashion illustration. This is... Aziza. She is a famous belly dancer. Thanks, Deb. I always have fun. You know that. <laughs> yes. Sexy. Sexy. <laughs> yeah, it's a rule. Alright, so I am working on the embellishments on this little lady here. So all this little beady work, this is what we're going to add in today. You get to look at her boobs. I didn't plan this out very well. <laughs> well, maybe I planned it out really well. I don't know. I don't know. One or the other. <laughs> Alright, so I don't like how blurry this line is, so I need to erase this and sharpen it up a bit. It got blurred on me, and I don't like it. All right. Oh, snafu. Put your clothes back on. <laughs> I love digital because I can just undo anything I screw up. All right. I wouldn't be so upset about it because I can always go back. It's on a separate layer, but I kind of want the edge nice because I'm going to do the beads. Yes, bead work. Oh, beautiful like me. You're a flatterer. <laughs> People can't see me, so I'll let y'all believe that. I'm a little old to look like this anymore. But yeah, a few years ago, maybe. A few years ago, this is exactly my self-portrait from a few years ago. <laughs> I'll take that. Alright. Good morning. I need to get so I have enough room. I might have to back her up a little, just a slightly bit, because I'm going to be doing these strings. And when the bead strings are hanging, I want them to flow naturally, which means I want to be able to have room to just swipe my hand. I'm not really going to be thinking about it too much, except um, like gravity. So. I don't want to be all, <laughs> I know, you're fine. 
I've had way, way, uh, you're, you're nice. I've had worse people say worse things. So don't worry about it. That was a nice thing. So, all right. So I want to just be able to flick these um, lines out here. Let's see. All right. So we're just going to flick some strings out in random spots of where they hang here. And I'm not worried about them showing up too much because it's the beads that will really make them. But these are kind of like a guide for them and they're there. And I have a couple different colors of... Alright. So when I print these out, um, this would probably all be glitter, which is one of the things I love about dance costumes. They have a lot of bling to them. A lot of bling. Alright, and I think it has, I'm trying to look at the costume I have over here on the side. I think it has some of these hanging out for like here on the side. So we'll start with these beads, and then there's embellishments to put on as well. But I'm copying, see my little dropper? I'm copying the color of the beads I already put on, simply because I want them to match. I want them to match. And then I'm just going to dot them in here. I'm going to... That's why the strings are my guidelines to make them look like they're just kind of naturally dangling. So I don't overthink the dots too much. I'm just going to follow the lines I already put down here. And this is a blender brush, so that's why you see the dots start out nice and white. And then they're going to kind of blend a little bit. And hopefully look like they're all over the place. I love doing these fashion illustrations. They are fun for me. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Then we'll do these gray ones. So it's just a variety of colors. And I'll show you the picture. So I can't really clearly see all these beads. And that's the cool thing about fashion illustration. I just need to suggest what the outfit sort of is and looks like. It doesn't have to be. Um, it's not supposed to be like a photo perfect. Right. Hello, how are you? Doing great, you guys. It's Art Black Day. Love it. Cold. Alright. So, 
So, then, <laughs> the, the tap, I'm going to zoom in just a little so I can get the highlights. Look at the boobs, you guys. Enjoy it. All right. We're going to put at least a little curve on here on each one of these to give it a little sparkle. <laughs> It's just a little dot on each one. Give it a little dimension. Hopefully they'll have some movement. The bead to help give this outfit some movement along with the skirt, which I have not added on yet. Debs what, Debs? Thanks for the hearts, everybody. So I worked on this a little bit yesterday just for you guys today. Wanted to get to something fun and not be working on boring skin for an hour. <laughs> Alright, so let me back up. Yep, see, I want the beads to match. I want them to look like they go together, which they look pretty good, I think. They look alright. They look okay. So, let's see, do I have it on the sketch? I do kind of. I don't know if I want to use that, though. There's like these big silver bangles, and I kind of am debating on how to do them. Okay. So I don't know what I'm doing. That's a secret. I don't know what I'm doing. Good morning. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just experimenting and figuring it out as I go. <laughs> oh, shoot. I'm not that talented. I'm just stubborn and determined. <laughs> I'll be honest. Alright, so I'm going to use these spots as, uh, as a, um, sort of a reference. This is just the beginning of these. They're like these dangly, um, I don't know what to call them. I need to study my belly dancing, then I'd know what they were. <laughs> okay. Alright. That'd be something, right? Study my belly dancing. I'm working on the belly dancing belly, so you never know. <laughs> People would pay me to turn it off. Alright. I'm just blending these so they're a little softer, which gives them that little bit of a reflection. Okay. 
I liked this song, and I was like, I, I couldn't believe it was Bieber when I found out that she sang it. I was like, oh my goodness, I actually liked the Bieber song. What's up with that? Guess he grew up a little bit. Alright, I want to make this small and see if I can do this. Um, no I have not. I probably have had it on and just have not really paid attention to it. Because usually I only have videos playing when I'm drawing. <laughs> So I'm not really watching them. Okay, so I'm trying to start um, some dimension on these things. Because he's actually going off. I wish the picture was clearer and I could see exactly what these bangles are, but I really can't. They just look like a bunch of um, glary spots. So I'm just kind of guessing. I'm kind of guessing. Okay. But the important thing is is that they just kind of look like they're supposed to look from a distance anyway. Who are you talking to? Gonna sit there and be looking silly. Oh, you don't even know what you're talking about. Oh, these kids, they don't even know what they're talking about. So the highlights bring up. See, I'm, I'm really biting my tongue. That's why I got quiet. So, because this isn't really my scope. <laughs> People who know me know. I'll let you guys take care of it. Joel, stop laughing. Okay. 
You're the punk. I'm just telling you. You don't even know what you're talking about, and you're making yourself look like an idiot. So it's pretty entertaining. So I just need to build up the detail here. Sure. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Boy, are you dumb. I'm doing something you'll never have. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm going to be smart. I don't want to be as smart as. Kids are so stupid. I don't even have time for you. You don't even know me. I'm not hiding. So you are hiding. You're the one that's talking a bunch of crap in somebody else's scope in a chat room. So don't contradict yourself and show how stupid you are. It's just retarded. You'd do a lot better to be a person and make friends on here than to prove what an idiot you are. I don't even have to say anything. I don't even have to say anything to embarrass him. He does it himself. It's hilarious. It's hilarious. It's like, I could just sit here and be quiet and let him talk and he'll do all the work for me. All on his own. You don't, I, you don't even know how anything works. Obviously. And I don't know why it concerns you so much. That's what's, the, that's what's fascinating. He doesn't, I just don't understand why, you know, you know, you come in and you think you made up the rules or something and then you're the one talking crap. And you're in my scope trying to tell me what to do. That's just that's just juvenile. So I'm making these look three dimensional. It's about my art, and when I do, I'm obviously on my computer doing digital art, so it has to be facing my screen. I mean, it, it's like hello, ada. I graduated the third grade. I might know that. That's not true. Because I don't hide. See, if you knew me, you knew I don't hide. <laughs> I've been on talk shows. I've been on uh, YouTube channel interviews. I don't hide. I just don't need to show myself to get people to watch me. Alright. So this is my this is my survey. You can help me out actually. Perfect timing. You can help me out. 
So I've been doing this survey lately of, of little, little boy trolls that try to come in here and do stuff. And so my, my question is, if I was a guy, would you still be coming in trying to say the same thing? I'm just trying to learn. So if you have the balls to talk, you have the balls to answer truthfully. So we can maybe learn something. I'm just doing my own little research project. I'm going to help my friend SJ write his book. See? See? <laughs> See? It happens every time that way. Meh. I love when my Psych 101 class comes in handy. I really do. <laughs> I always wondered why I was taking that class other than my weird interest in the way some people's minds work. But I guess, like, way back in the day, the powers of being you I'd have to deal with, like, Weird strangers. All right. <clears throat> Just say well, he left. Digital stuff does this once in a while. Let me show you. I don't know why it does. Like, it wasn't there before. See that mark? Sometimes, like, the digital program will just be like, here's a random mark for you that you now have to, like, blend in or something. And I can't really erase it, so it just gets blended in. Like a nice Because this is trying to give you my silver um, reflection. I have to come back with a thin black line, I think.
So, even though um, this is on white and you don't think I need to highlight sometimes, but I do because I'll probably, I'm not sure with this one though, but I usually put a um, background in some sort. So yeah, it's lots of lovely patience of just shading, trying to get these to look like they're more than just a dot of color on a piece of paper. And they look more detailed than they actually are when I zoom back just because they're super small. So I'm to step back really quick, see how this is looking. Alright, you see I have more detail than you can really see in here. Um, I think they have more beading, but I really don't know if I'm going to do it. I don't know if I like that. How do I, I'm trying to figure out how do I depict this look. More beads, I'm thinking I might have to do more beads. I know, I'm not the expert, that's the problem.
much too big. Yeah, okay. Have to hit these a little more specifically. So I just I'm just tapping these with some water. So when they blur a little bit, they'll give that effect of um like a little sequin spark or something. So they'll start bursting into life. <laughs> Just add a little bit of water to them. We're just gonna, I'm just gonna add some more beads up over on top of this. It's not so much of what's there, because nobody's going to be looking at the exact details, but it's, um, they would notice it more if there wasn't something there. So, what happens is when somebody looks at a painting, they might not notice all the details, but you, as an artist, if you don't put them in, they'll notice what is missing. Like, their brain will register that it doesn't look right because there's something not in that spot. So sometimes you have to make an artistic decision to just kind of add stuff in. Yeah, so that fills it up a little bit, makes it look more um, belly dancerish. Belly dancerish. Yes, I made up my own words. Alright. So, it's going to give the same sort of effect that, you know, it's, it's an illustration. It's not a photo. So, it's more about the costume giving an idea of what the costume is, which is what designers use to show people. So...
So, I want to do the same thing on this side. Trying to think of where the light would hit. Thanks. So this side's gonna have a little more. I want to put some right up in here. This is um, Curl Painter 2017. I love it. It is a very painter friendly program. Alright, so we'll make the little glitter come to life. Sparkle. Just tap them with water. This is a, the brush I'm using is a, actually a blender, and it is called Just Add Water. So some will be really bright, some not so bright. No, it's not on a computer. It's a computer program. It's a professional grade digitally paint program. So you see as I tap them with the water, how they'll start glowing. Ew. Now when I print this out, this will probably all have real glitter put on it, but not all of them get embellished and printed out. A tutorial? No, this is um, an art block. We do it every Saturday. It's just a bunch of artists doing art all day. All right. <clears throat> So the beads on the top I saved for last because they need to look like they're coming over top. Yeah, thank you. I, I actually have, hang on, we'll do a little commercial break. A little commercial break. So today, this is our lineup for the day. Um, next up is Natalyn. And we have a great lineup today. And today I'm scoping for LDCC um, Art Black. So you can look up hashtag LDCC, or you can look up hashtag Art Block, and you'll be able to see all the scopes all day long. And on Thursday, we do a music block, which is just like this art block, but it's all musicians. And if you're interested in art and following us more, we have, oh, I hit my camera. You can look up Little Deb's Creative Crew on all these social medias and follow us and get to know us a little better and see a little more behind the scenes, a little more in depth to the art, but it's a great group. We have a lot of fun. And if you like what you're seeing here, I'm Kathy Grillo of Kathy Grillo Design. This is where you can find me all over social media. <laughs> I have a blast. So I'd like to get to know you if you want to hit me up and Ask me any questions or send me pictures of your art or just to, you know, chat. That's fine. All right.
Ooh, I need more coffee this morning, you guys. Ugh. <laughs> so I want to add these beads on here. And I know right now they kind of don't look much different from the um, sparkles, but they will. That's what my pajama shirt says today. It says, need more coffee. But I can't drink as much coffee as I, as I like anymore. <laughs> it makes me sad. Because um, I don't like I don't like the taste of coffee so much. I'm learning to like it better. I like all the cappuccinos and lattes, and um, all that sugar is not great for me, so I can't have as many. <laughs> it's so much fun getting older. No. It's not. Alright, so we add the highlights, which will help start solidifying these little beads to the eye. Just a little swipe. I'm not really paying too much attention and being real picky about it. I'm just making sure that each thing that's a bead has a little dot of light in it. Do, do. When I print this out and paint them, these would probably be done with dots of acrylic paint to give them actually a raised texture on my canvas because I like my fashion illustrations to have some texture to them when I print them out. All right, so let's step back. All right, so that's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. And to even it out. I can't tell what color the beads are around here. I can't tell. So I'm going to do them sort of the same colors that I've been doing. There's not as many, so we'll just kind of... Just add, I'm just sort of randomly adding them through here so they look like they're strung on these strings. So we're just beating her up. I don't know if anybody's ever really seen some of these costumes in real life, 
but I can tell you they are extremely extravagant. So we're just going to touch on these beads of where the light would hit them. It gives them the effect of being a little more rounded and dimensional. So that's how you do some beads. A beading, beads. I have five minutes left, and then uh, the next girl will be up. So if anybody has any major questions, now would be the time to probably start asking. Uh, okay. So these are like a silver. This medallion in the middle is going to give me a pain in the butt. Because I really can't see it. Alright. Hello! I'm almost finished for the day. You're in Russia. Well, welcome, Russia. Hope you're having a nice... It's probably evening over there, right? Hope you're having a nice evening. okay I don't watch it so much so like the Super Bowls tomorrow I'll probably be, be um, here drawing <laughs> it's all right You know what? I don't know a lot about him. I don't watch um I don't watch a lot of TV or politics, so I don't really know enough about him to know for sure what he's about. What do you think about him? Or you probably I don't know, are you allowed to say it? Tell me what you think about him. I mean, don't get yourself in trouble. <laughs> I think our governments, um, our governments tell us what we, what they want us to know, which is why I like Periscope, um, because we can talk as people and realize that. The people don't always think what our governments um, are telling us what other people th feel about us. You know, so people will be like, oh, they all hate Americans, or all Americans hate such and such, or whatever. And I think being on Periscope helps debunk some of that. Because I have people I know all over the world. I don't show my face on Periscope mostly because of people who ask like you to say <laughs> I mean I'm a 
Would you want your would you would you want your wife showing her face all over social media all the time? I don't hide. I do interviews, and there's been things, occasions when it's when it's um when it's something that I should show my face for. But my art's about my art. It's not about my face. So you know, I'm a respectful lady, and I. Did appreciate if you respected me and treated me respectfully. Hello, Denmark. I have four minutes. So, when you guys say stuff or act like you do here on social media, you should treat all women like you would want your own wife, your own daughter, your own mother treated. So, and expect them all to behave that way as well. Just saying. Thank you for inviting people. I'm almost done now. That's all right. Thank you. I should have put the bangles first on this. Rethinking it. Rethinking, rethinking, race, erase, erase. Alright. Alright, so this one has like bunch of those little beady things and then a couple big ones. Let me put a sketch up here. So the sketch is not total law, it's just a uh, guide. A guide. And then in the middle will be a big one, just like at the top. Alright. And then these are just like little shiny, shimmery. Dangle charms, or I don't know what they're called. <laughs> I don't know what they're called. <coughs> I'm, I am not in Detroit, but I guess that would be the closest big city. You love it? I've lived here for six years. I do kind of like the area. I live more on the river, so I really love it because I'm by water. Waiting for it to warm up so I can be back out there boating again. <sighs> Boating and fishing, yay! So these ones need to develop a little more of a dimension.
Oh, it's 11 o'clock. So, if you like what you saw and you'd like to see more, I'm Kathy Grilla Design. Feel free to follow me, um, and you'll see all the finished work and all the posters. The posters is. Um, today, this is our lineup today. So right now, Natalyn should be showing up. And the easiest way to find us, this is our lineup for all day long. We have artists going all day today. All you have to do is search hashtag LDCC and, or hashtag art block. And then on Thursdays, we have a music block. And if you're really an art fan and like to get to know everybody a little better, feel free to find us all over social media. We'd love to get to know you and follow you. Very supportive group of people. But right now, Natalie's on. So thanks for, uh, thanks for hanging with me today. Look at all that info out of the way. <laughs> Give you one last look of where I'm at on the progress on this illustration. And I hope to see you guys next week for the art block again, or sooner. Have a great day.